Hey, good morning, followed by your most uncomfortable historical fact. Hey, good morning. Public lynchings between 1860 and 1960 were so common that some of them were billed as family events. Starting somewhere around the 1910s, public lynchings became picnic lynching, inviting white people to bring down the whole family to watch black, indigenous, and people of color to be hung from trees, beaten to death, and mutilated. At some of these picnic lynchings, people would be torn apart, and their body parts would be pickled and kept in jars for years to come. Some households still have them proudly on display or hidden away in their basements. And because black people specifically weren't considered to be 100% human, they would occasionally be torn apart and grilled, which is why books like The Delectable Negro are so important, because it became so common that there were recipes as to how to cook black people and serve them. What parts were the most edible? What side dish went along with them? Pictures would be taken of the hanging bodies with large groups of families nearby as postcards. Often, the people that were being lynched have no record of their existence. And we know that some of the people that held these events are still alive, and absolutely no legal recourse has been taken against them. Recently, a 101-year-old Nazi guard was brought to justice, but the people that were responsible for lynching people because of the color of their skin, or because they were queer, are still walking around scot-free. Some of them may even be politicians now.